Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to find the area of a parallelogram. Okay, the basic formula that you want to know is area equals length times width. Okay, you can represent this by writing length times width, or you can say a equals l times w. Okay, we do a cursive l because sometimes you might use a regular l in another formula, or it could look like a one. Okay, this is the same thing as going and multiplying, or by saying, the area equals base times height. Okay, same concept, different names, okay. Um, length times width will help you as you move into three-dimensional figures. Um, but so does base times height. So you can use either of them, um, whatever works best for you. But keep in mind they are the same thing. The difference is we use an L for one and a B for the other, width and height, just different letters, different names. Okay, but the same idea. Okay, so let's take this problem for example. We have a rectangle with a length or a base of seven millimeters and a height of three. Okay, remember this is a rectangle, so this edge is the same length as this edge, and this one the same as the one on the left. Okay, so seven millimeters, although it's written at the top, it also stands for the base at the bottom. Okay, length on both parts. Okay, um, even though it's the top, it's the same length as the base. And this is your width or your height. Same thing. Okay? So first, one of the important things that you want to remember is to always write your formula. A, or area, equals length times width. Okay? I like it if you write down what everything is before you plug it in. So remember my length is equal to seven millimeters and my width is equal to three millimeters. <clears throat> I can then plug it in. Area, copying it down again, equals seven millimeters times three millimeters. Okay? My area equals seven times three, which is twenty one. And millimeters times millimeters, uh, which means you need to do millimeters squared. Okay, why do we do millimeters squared? Well, if you look at it, what you're really saying with area is you're breaking it down. So seven millimeters squared means that I can have seven little squares, each the size of a mil millimeter, across the top and down. Okay, and if we count, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is where my seven millimeters at the top comes from, and three millimeters down, one, two, three. Think of it as you learned how to multiply. It should have been third, fourth grade, you learned about arrays, okay? Looking for the area is the same thing as looking for an array, okay? And here, we're using squares instead of dots that you would have had in the array or other cubes, okay? And if we took the time to count all of the squares in here, imagine that they're squares, they're not quite the same size, but I didn't measure it, there would be 21, just like we had before, okay? Let's try, again, we can look at it 7 times 3, and let's write the formula one more time, area equals length times width, I know we solved it before, but it's good to go through it again. Length equals 7 millimeters. Width equals 3 millimeters. Okay. Area equals 7 oops, millimeters, not meters. 7 millimeters times 3 millimeters. Area equals 7 millimeters times 3 millimeters, which is 21 millimeters squared. Okay, let's try one more. We have a square, which is, a, remember, a square is also a rectangle. It's also a parallelogram. Okay, 
we use the same formula. Area equals length times width. My length is 3 inches. Okay, Remember length and base are the same thing. Okay, They're going to be the same measurement. And my width is 3 inches. Okay, plug everything in. Area is equal to my length, which is 3 inches, times my width, which is 3 inches. Okay, multiply it down. Area equals 3 times 3, which is 9. Inches times inches, inches squared. Okay, and remember, looking at it, okay, we're splitting this into 3 in each direction. If you add them up, there are nine. And that's how you find the area of a parallelogram.